two-tone images. As the name implies, two-tone images are exactly that, two colours, or two tones. Normally, you will see this with black and white images, but sometimes you may find that a third colour is added as a background to make the image pop. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own. Hello my friends, Rob here from Button Press Graphics back with another Inkscape tutorial and today we're going to be learning how to do a two-tone image. Now if you take a look on screen, as you can see I've just done a quick Google search of stencil two-tone portraits and you can see exactly what's come up. These are all varying different methods on doing a two-tone. But there is one thing that I need to point out. This image here, this image here, and even this one are not two tone images. These two, even Elvis right down here, they are all two tone. The only thing you can see is the solid black and then the transparent or white area around it. Now when it comes to choosing your picture, I've just done a quick search in pixels. Now the search that I've done is just for faces. And as you can see, there is a wealth of faces to choose from. However, if we take a look at this image, for example, there is not a lot of contrast between the darker areas on this side to the lighter areas where the sunlight is hitting this young man's face. However, this one up here, there is a lot of variation. So you can see the darker areas on the right and the very light areas on the left. Now, as you can see on screen, I have just asked an AI to come up with a young girl's face with nice contrasts of lights and darks. And this is what the AI came out with. Now, I don't normally use AI, but it will give me a good basis to work from. So, AI is a good tool. If you're not leaning on it too heavily, I don't think there is a problem in using AI for your art. But, I digress. I'm going to give you a couple of nice little hints on how you can create this effect for yourself. The first of which is by adding a filter. Now we come to our filters, we can go down to color and we can go to grayscale. Now when you do, you'll get all your values up in this little window here. I'm going to click live preview to make sure that I can see all the changes that I will be making. Now the bar that we're going to be paying particular attention to is this one right here, the lightness. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the lightness as much as I possibly can until I get the desired effect. Now, as you can see, when I lower the brightness down this far, the only image that you can see now are the very, very lightest parts of the image. You can see the bridge of the nose and the end of the nose. You can see the whites of the eyes and a little bit above the top lip and a little bit on the chin here. So these are the areas that have the most light. Now I've got the lightness how I want it so I can see the hairline very, very clearly. I am just going to click apply. And now I'm going to close out of that. And this will now allow me to take my pen tool and to simply go around all the areas which will be classed as the background. now with that done i'm just going to clip out any parts like this so as you can see the hair comes over and wispies and it leaves a little void right here so i'm going to include that as well because these little voids will add some depth and clarity to the image and what you're looking at and here i'm just turning the stroke to red so it's easier for you to all see exactly what i'm doing 
but with this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut that piece away from the main piece i'm going to use my select tool i'm going to select this piece and select the main piece and then i'm going to go to path difference now it looks like nothing has happened but if i was to add a fill onto this as you can see it has cut out the piece that we made earlier and it is now all one object and now we're going to repeat the same process for the lightest areas of her face and as you can see with the brightness as it is right now i think that gives a very cool effect so what i'm going to do now is just going to map out all of these areas that i can see we do not need to add any details at the moment if we don't want to but we are just going to map around all of the areas that are visible so all the way around here and do not be afraid to make multiple different shapes so now i'm just going to start and i will catch up with you at the end Now, as you can see, I have created all the shapes that I need. These are all the shapes that I want to make sure I keep and everything else will be dark. Now, are just a few little things I wanted to mention. For example, I've kept the color in her eyes right here and I've made them a different color to everything else so I can differentiate which colors need to be changed and which need to be left alone next we are going to do the very darkest parts again but this time it's going to be all the ones inside these areas that we haven't already done and what i mean by this is for example right here we've got her nostril and of course this will all be white so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go around this nostril and then I'm going to go around a little bit of a highlight just to give the impression that is where the shadow is. And now with that done, all of these that are sat on top, like this shape here and this shape here, need to be cut out in the same way that this little void in the hair was cut out as well. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to use my select tool. I'm going to select the both of these. And then I'm going to go to path union. This has just combined them both into one shape. Now with that selected, I'm going to select the shape that I want to cut it out from. And I'm going to go to path difference. And just like that, again, it looks like nothing's changed but now these are actually cutouts if i was to keep this shape selected and turn it white as you can see there is nothing in the middle now it's just time to select all of the pieces that i want so for this i'm just going to select over everything within the face and now i'm going to hold shift and select all the different colored pieces that I marked earlier 
because I do not want them to go white. So now, as you can see, we have all of these pieces together apart from the color in the eyes. And now we're just going to pass and union. And now we have our face. Now for these parts, I am just going to keep them. But I am also going to blur them ever so slightly. And finally, the last step is just to take the main piece behind and turn it completely black. I'm going to take the stroke off as well. And now if I was to select the image and move that out of the way, you now have your two tone image. So there you go, my friends. That's just a quick way on how you can create two tone images from pretty much any image that you want. Did you know that you can become a member of the Button Press Graphics YouTube channel? Well, now you do. You will get a lot of added benefits and you will directly support the channel, enabling me to make much better content in the future. Also, you can send in your artwork into the Creative Corner. This is a regular section where I will showcase your work in a future video. But for now, Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to bid you all a fond farewell and I will see you next time.